It wasn't until my 30s that my parents shared the news with me. It was very shocking, very surprising. My mother sat me down and just basically told me that I had been conceived by a sperm donor. I guess genetically it felt like half of me was a blank slate. I turned 35 and went in for just a standard exam and was asked, do you have a history of breast cancer in your family? I realized I don't know on my biological father's side. That was ultimately what drove me to sign up and try 23andMe. Coming. We gotta go. I got the notification that my results were in. I opened up the results and I saw 51% Ashkenazi, so that confirmed kind of what I thought that the donor was not Jewish. I clicked over into the health reports, read some disclaimers, and at the very top of the page saw that I had a BRCA1 mutation. Reading that result, I felt like the ground fell out below me. Because I carried this mutation, it put me at higher risk for breast and ovarian cancer. My OBGYN very quickly recommended that I get a blood test to confirm it. The genetic counselor called me and said, we've got the results and we confirm that you do have this BRCA1 mutation. I love you. Come here. I told my sisters and my mother very quickly what I had learned. They got tested and discovered that they all carried a BRCA1 mutation as well. I really had hoped with all my heart when I first found out that it was gonna be just me. Um, and it was sad that it was my whole family. I was scared, I didn't know what it meant, I didn't know what to do. I went to many support group meetings to understand how they coped with it as a mother, as a professional. What do you tell your job? It was tremendously helpful. I went to a gynecological oncologist. He was pretty clear. I was done having children and he said, then you need to get your ovaries out. I decided to have my ovaries removed, and I also decided to have a prophylactic double mastectomy. For me in particular, and I think for both my sisters and my mother, I think we all feel tremendously lucky that we could make a decision about our bodies and our health from a place of being healthy. And none of us would have gotten tested if I hadn't gotten this result from 23andMe. Now that I've been through it, I really want to be able to help other people. You, not hurt you. Good. I do a lot of mentoring and talking to women that are trying to make some decisions. It's a gift that we can access that kind of knowledge now and take action. So not only do I feel like 23andMe saved my life, saved my mother's life and my two sisters' lives as well.